Welcome to my first weekly vlog. I don't know how often I'm gonna be doing these cause I was really hesitant about doing them. I really wanted to do them for a while, but I just be like, I don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like I really don't go nowhere, I don't do nothing. So I feel like my weekly vlogs would be like dead. You know what I'm saying? So like I didn't really want to do it, but like I really wanted to do it. Like I really wanted to do weekly vlogs and like just do more like lifestyle type stuff. You know, just so y'all can get like more of a feel from me instead of me doing like hair review, like like a hair review vibe. Like my videos are always like reviews or whatever, hauls, tutorials, whatever. But yeah, like when I made this channel, I've said this before, my channel was not meant to turn into a hair channel. It just kind of happened. Like it was really supposed to be surrounded like just all things beauty, including hair, but not strictly hair. Cause I do some everything. Like I do hair, makeup, nails. I have a press on video coming out. I already have a makeup tutorial up, but I need to update that because I already been changed my makeup routine. But yeah, I do some everything. I sew, I cook, your girl gets down. You know what I'm saying? I be doing DIY projects. I be making stuff. Y'all should've seen my little Stranger Things. I had a Stranger Things party. If y'all watch Stranger Things, y'all comment below y'all's favorite character. But yeah, I had a Stranger Things party with my cousin when season four of volume two came out and I did the little decorations. I did half the room, like the upside down and then I did half the room, like the real world with the alphabet wall and everything. So yeah, I be doing little projects. I be making stuff, little DIY crafts and stuff. So I wanted to do like all of that and then also vlogs, travel vlogs. I don't travel super often and I know Hawaii vlog. I went to Hawaii a few months back with my ex-boyfriend for his birthday. And I know if y'all follow me on Instagram, I had told y'all that I was gonna do a vlog for that, which I did, I filmed it all. And I still have it, but like I said, I mean, we're not together anymore. So I didn't bother to even edit it. But I had decided, even though y'all probably don't care about it anymore, I just kinda decided that I was gonna post it anyway. Just don't be asking questions. Me and him are cool, by the way, like, so it's like no bad blood or nothing like that. Like, we're cool, we're just not together. Yeah, I was gonna post it anyway. And I was gonna do that before, like, even when we broke up, I still wanted to post it, because I still vlogged it, like, for my channel. Like, even though it was his birthday, I still wanted to vlog it for my channel. And I was gonna post it, but it was gonna be really hard to cut him out of it, because he's in a lot of it, because it was his birthday, and he was there with me on the trip. So, like, everything we was doing, we was together. So, it's really hard to cut him out of it, and all of that. So, I just I was gonna post it anyway. I might leave in stuff with him in it. I probably will and I just, you know, I really don't care. It is what it is. It happened like that, so I'm gonna just post it like that. It is what it is, but just know we're not together. I'm gonna still edit that. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. That's the type of content I wanted my channel to be centered around. Just some of everything, like all the little stuff that I do, all the stuff that I'm good at, all the stuff that I make. So I wanted to do weekly vlogs, but like I said, I just didn't know if they would be that interesting. But I was like, you know what? We'll see who rock with it. We'll just see how it goes. So I'm just gonna do it anyway. So I decided last week that I was gonna start this week. So today is Sunday and actually this is the week of my birthday. I'm starting the vlog on a Sunday. My birthday's tomorrow, Monday, July 11th, cancer season. If you have cancer, comment your birthday below. All my cancers, cancer gang, cancer season, the realest, the best to ever do it. But yeah, my birthday is July 11th. So I actually have stuff to do a little bit. You know, I can get a little bit of content in this weekly vlog because I'm actually doing something. I really could have vlogged like a couple weeks ago when I was kind of going out a little bit more than normal but I just did it. Yeah, so what we're doing today is Sunday. I really didn't plan on doing nothing for my birthday because I really just wasn't trying to spend a whole lot of money this year for my birthday because every time my birthday comes around and I'm always doing the most and spending the most money and I just really wasn't trying to do that this year because I'm really trying to save, work on certain stuff. So I'm just trying to not do too much for my birthday this year, like, you know. But next year, we're going somewhere. We're traveling. I don't know where, hopefully out the country. But yeah, I really was trying to keep it chill this year, but I did want to at least go out to eat you know i mean that's not nothing too crazy but i don't have anything to wear i mean i have a dress okay so let's start there that's what i was supposed to be doing today i was gonna go to hobby lobby to get like little black rhinestones because i have a black dress i have a couple dresses that i could wear i really wanted to wear black like i said i'm not trying to spend a lot of money so i wasn't trying to order nothing for real plus it's too late to order anything anyway even if i wanted to my birthday tomorrow so i was gonna get little black rhinestones and i was gonna like do some designs on the black dress that i have it's like real basic and plain like just a straight up plain black dress nothing is on it no type 
type of texture to the dress. It's just straight up plain fabric. So I was gonna add some rhinestones to it just to, you know, make it a little, kind of like I did last year, but I wanted it a little bit different than I did last year. So I was gonna, you know, spice up that dress a little bit. One of the two black dresses that I had that were just plain. So I was gonna go Hobby Lobby to get that stuff today. Well, Hobby Lobby's closed on Sundays and I didn't know that. So, you know, there's that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I might have to go to Walmart and Walmart probably ain't got nothing that I can work with for real. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about my dress, but I am going to get my toes done now. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do about my dress. So that's what I'm gonna do. But that's literally all I'm doing today. Like I'm just getting my toes done and getting stuff for my dress and figuring out how I'm gonna do that when I get back home. Also, the hair I'm gonna wear, well as y'all see, my hair is blow dry right now. Which I'm supposed to be taking a break from wigs because I really wanna wear my hair. But my birthday is tomorrow and my hair looks like this and I'm not gonna straighten it because I already blow dried it and I straightened this section right here for the hair review I did. It was a heat part wig so I had to leave like this section of my hair out and I had to straighten it. So I don't wanna put any more heat on my hair so I'm not trying to straighten it. Really not trying to risk wearing it curly because I did say that I wanted to try doing a wash and go because I don't wear my curly hair a whole lot so I wanted to do a wash and go and wear my curly hair but my birthday is not the day to experiment. That is not the day to be trying stuff and then it go wrong and I'm gonna be sitting there crying because I look stupid so I flexi rotted a wig last night so I'm gonna show y'all that when I get back home but it's a wig that I already done a video on it's from Wiggins hair I'll link that video but I'm just reinstalling that wig but I flexi rotted it I want to wear that hair to the dinner but I don't want to wear that hair to the pool because we are going to a pool tomorrow which is another thing like I said I wasn't trying to do too much but a couple weeks ago I went to the Epicurean in Atlanta if y'all don't know what that is it's a hotel in Atlanta and they have like passes you can get online you can go to their pool and get like a day pass for $40 and you can go to the pool and you can eat and stuff there's like a, a bar and food out there and you can eat and stuff and not have to stay at the hotel if you don't have to get a room so you can get a day pass but we actually got the cabana they like the regular day pass which is like pool access which is $40 and they have the cabana one which you get a cabana for three and a half hours and can bring up to four people y'all have a private bathroom shower toilet all that in your cabana just for you nobody else at the pool can use it and then you have a butler that they come bring your food and drinks to your cabana you can't eat like if you have the regular day pass and you're just sitting at the pool you can't sit and eat at the pool or like the chairs that are at the pool you can't sit and eat there you have to go sit at the tables by like the bar and stuff to eat but at the cabana the butlers will bring your food and drinks to your cabana so you can sit and eat over there so that's what we did a couple weeks ago and then there was some kind of screw up or something i still don't really understand on their part and so they had texted me saying that they would give us a free cabana if we wanted to come back the next day like the day after we was already there i don't live in atlanta so i live like two hours from atlanta so i was like well i don't live here so i'm not gonna come back tomorrow like i won't be back up here tomorrow i mean i could drive but i'm not going to you know gas is high i'm not gonna be going back and forth to atlanta like that so and that was like two weeks ago two or three weeks ago maybe and so i was like we could come back for our birthday which is like a couple weeks on the 11th and so he said he'll get me a cabana for free for the 11th so that worked out because like i said i'm not trying to spend no money i was gonna pay for the food and drinks and everything and you have to spend a minimum of 250 there and i don't like that like what's the point of that i don't understand that you have to spend a minimum of 250 like on food and drinks why between the four people that you bring and i just don't like that but i mean it is what it is so the cabana is free but you know obviously to pay for food and drinks and then we'll go eat dinner later i guess so that's what i need my dress for so i really want to wear the flexi rotted wig that i did to dinner but i don't want to wear that to the pool because i want my curls to fall and all that while i'm out there it's three and a half hours out in the heat and i took all this time flexi riding this wig i'm not finna you know mess it up at the pool so i think i'm gonna just slap on a wig for the pool like put a headband on it or like tie a cute little scarf to wear to the pool around it and then like i said we have three and a half hours there and you get your own little bathroom and stuff so like you can get dressed and get ready like it's very roomy plenty of space in there so like i can get ready in there and do my hair there and then install the other wig there you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm gonna do y'all will just see as i go because i'm just doing a whole lot of talk right now i've been talking for 15 minutes anyway that's what we're doing today i don't think i want to get my nails done i think i'm just gonna do like a simple press on set when i get back home i don't even know where we're eating at like you know i'm trying to work on this dress to go to a dinner i don't even know where i'm going i ain't picked no restaurant or nothing also if you watch my birthday vlog from last year y'all know i'm a twin so it's her birthday too i didn't celebrate it with her last year i celebrated it with my 
boyfriend at the time, but we're celebrating together this year. So I'm gonna meet her in Atlanta at the pool. We'll just see how it goes, cause I'm really not trying to stress too much because I hate that. Like I hate stressing it out. On my birthday, like around my birthday every year, trying to get everything together and everything just to be so perfect. And I just, I'm really not trying to do the most this year. I wasn't trying to spend a whole lot of money, not trying to do too much, not trying to be stressing myself out, none of that. Which is kind of unlike me, cause I like to do too much for my birthday because it's my birthday, you know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to be a little more responsible, I guess, this year and like just focus on other stuff and you know, just not spend unnecessarily. But next year, catch me next year. Next year, we are definitely going somewhere, definitely gonna book something because yeah. But anyway, I'm turning 23, Jordan year. I vlogged my 22nd birthday, so maybe I can make this a yearly thing, like my birthday vlog, because I did do one last year. I was supposed to do one when I turned 21. I was supposed to do a birthday vlog, and then I completely forgot to vlog everything. I'm gonna stop talking, because I've been talking this whole time. I'm already at my destination, well, finna be, and that was 30 minutes from my house, so I'm on here. I'm in the wrong lane. I done got over here. I don't know where I'm going. Anyway, when I wear my hair like this, like if I blow dry my hair and I go like this, which I don't think it looks terrible, but you know, obviously it's not done, but it just draws a lot of attention because my hair is super big anyway, and people be staring. Like literally, ever since my hair has been like this, my hair has been like this for like a week now, a little bit over a week, and anytime I go out in public, people stare so hard, especially white people. What the fuck are you looking at? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like people stare, that's rude. Did your mama not teach you that? You don't stare, that's rude, you know what I'm saying? People be staring. And it mainly be white people or people of other races. Like, what is you looking at? I'm just not the ones. I will stare right the back at you. They be sitting there, do not stare, and I... Can I help you? Like, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm gonna be here. Move, I need to get over. I'm probably gonna cut half this stuff out because I've been talking too much. Y'all, I hope they ain't closed. I mean, it say 12 to 6, it's 446, but there are no cars here. Y'all, they're closed. They're closed. I know y'all see it. Let me zoom in just so y'all know I'm not stupid. It literally says salon hours, Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday, 12 to 6. What's that about? I don't know. I'm really not tripping for real because I used to do my nails myself anyway. Like I used to do my toes myself anyway. Even last year I did them myself and the year before that I did them myself. So, hey. I'll just do it myself when I get back. At least I don't have to spend no money. Plus I have the stuff to do it myself. I got gel polish, I got the light, the UV light and everything. So it's all good. I'll do it when I get home along with my press on. So I guess I'll go get food. I kind of want Kai Thai cause I want some fried rice. I think I am gonna get fried rice. I really want that. So I'm at the order that. I'm gonna place the order and then go to Walmart and shop around in there. And then by the time I'm done, it should be ready. Then I'm going back home cause I have nothing else to do. Cause I'm gonna do everything else myself. See, that's why it pays to be able to do stuff yourself because when people fail you, be closed, or cancel on you, or whatever, it's no big deal because you can do that yourself. That's why people really need to learn. Y'all need to learn. I really encourage people to learn how to do wigs, learn how to do your hair. The only thing I just cannot do is like braids and stuff, like knotless braids or anything like that. I just cannot do that on myself. I have done twists on myself before, like passion twists, which I'll do that. But even that be stressing me out. But yeah, learn how to do your own hair. Learn how to do your nails. It's not hard, I promise. You just gotta practice. Learn how to sew. Like in case like if you get like a hole in your clothes, you need to take something in on the side. If something don't fit right, you can fix it yourself. Learn how to cook. Because when these restaurants close, closing early, especially when COVID happened and these weird hours these restaurants be having or whatever, cook yourself. Here I am talking again. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm finna order my food. I'm finna lose it. The place that I wanted to get my fried rice from closed on Sunday. Then my second option was to get a wrap from Chick-fil-A with the avocado lime ranch dressing or avocado ranch, whatever the dressing is. It's so good. Chick-fil-A closed on Sundays. What am I gonna eat? I guess I'm just going over to Walmart because that's the only thing that seems promising right now. And that might not even be because they probably don't have nothing. All right, y'all, I just came out of Walmart. I didn't vlog in there because I didn't get a buggy because I didn't plan on getting much. I just plan on getting like some rhinestones or something if I found some but I ended up getting more stuff than I went in there for and I didn't have no buggy so I was carrying it all but let me show y'all what I got I got a confetti popper so hopefully this works so we can do this somewhere at some point they only had one of these that worked it was two more in the box but this part was missing off and this part so I don't know what happened with that so I got this one and then I got this one then I got this happy birthday banner to hang I was gonna hang it in the cabana while we're there so like you know people know it's our birthday so yeah I got this to hang up there I got these candles that like shoot off confetti 
but it's edible confetti. I never seen this before. So I got this in case we use this. We don't even have a cake, but if we get one, or maybe we can use it some other time, then I got these. And then I got this cup right here. It says birthday girl on it, and it's got pink like leopard spots all over it, pink and gold. So I got this, cause we'll probably, well we will order drinks at the pool. So I'm gonna pour my drink in this, cause my birthday. And then I got Mod Podge Clear Acrylic Sealer. I was gonna use this to spray on like my jewelry that'll tarnish or whatever. People say that you can paint clear nail polish on it, which I did that with my nose rings. I painted actually clear gel and I cured it and did that. But I was gonna try this and also I was gonna use this for like other crafts I'll be doing, but it's just clear spray i got the super high shine one so i got this hopefully it works for that i don't know if you're supposed to i don't know what you're supposed to use that stuff on but hopefully it works and then for what i was supposed to be in there for i got some black glitter so i might do like i have e6000 at home i didn't get fabric glue maybe i should have got that but you know e6000 holes i was thinking maybe i should like do some i could just put glue all over like the dress in certain spots and like do little however i want to do the glitter and then just dust it on there so i might do something like that or because i really i really don't like glitter y'all like i really want to do rhinestones because glitter is so messy i really hate that um or i got this smart iron on cricut heat transfer vinyl here's a little thing of what that looks like it's just black and glittery you probably can't even see it maybe if i put my flashlight on it see it's black and glittery. So I was just gonna do something with the black glitter or something with this and like do designs with this on the dress and iron it on because my mom has a Cricut. Well, she has a toilet machine and she got me a heat press for something. Was it Christmas? Christmas like two years ago, which I used last year on my dress. So if I wanna do something with this, I could do that. So I just got both just in case. Yeah, that's the stuff I got for the dress, which is what I was supposed to be in there for. Really, I was supposed to only get these two things when I went in there, but I got all this other stuff because I saw all this birthday stuff and I was like, cute. And I want confetti poppers and confetti candles and a banner to hang in the cabana because it's my birthday. And then I also got candles because I love me some candles. I got these two. I got cranberry mandarin and mango sunrise. I got these for my room. And then I got a vase because I have some roses at home and I ended up having to put them in three separate vases because it's eight dozen roses that I got for my birthday. And I went and got like two of the biggest vases I could find at like the Dollar General near my house and they didn't fit. Yeah, I just got this big clear one so I can put them all in here when I get home. And then also I got dog tags for my dogs because they roam, they're not on leashes. They really be at my granny's house. Well, the black dog is really my dad's dog, but whatever, her name's Smokey. So I got a tag for Smokey. Oh, let me not show y'all that because my dad's phone number is on it. I got a tag for Smokey and I got a tag for Ginger, which is Smokey's daughter. She had puppies and we gave two of them away the first time. The other ones died and Ginger is the only one that lived. So I got one for Ginger and one for Smokey. They really stay in my granny's yard, but they be back and forth to my granny's house and my dad's house, which is right across the street from each other. So they just be back and forth across the street and like the neighbor's house. So I just got these tags in case like they go too far one day or somebody takes them or finds them or something. Oh, and I also got some crowns. I got two different ones for me and my sister. I think I want this one. I wish they had cuter ones though, but it's a Claire's inside the Walmart. So I just got these while I was in there. So yeah, and that's everything that I got. That's my little Walmart haul. So now I'm gonna go home. No, I'm gonna get some food because I still haven't gotten any food. It's so hot. I don't know where I'm gonna get it from. I'm probably just gonna go through a drive-thru or something. Maybe I should get Wendy's or I don't want Wendy's, but I do want a strawberry frosty. There's Applebee's. I don't feel like waiting for Applebee's. Then I'm going home so I can work on my dress, do my toes, do my nails. My legs are shaved. My grilly pop is waxed. That's really all I have to do. And pack my stuff for the pool and for dinner. I'm saying that's it. Like I'm not gonna be up till like 3 a.m. doing this because it's 6 p.m. now. I'm not gonna get home till like 7 o'clock. And I probably won't start when I get there because I'm probably gonna eat. So let me go get some food. I kind of want McDonald's fries though. I don't know. I'm not one of them people. I'm not gonna sit up here and be like, you know, people that be on YouTube and just try to act like they just eat so healthy all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna get a salad and I'm probably gonna get like some fruit or something. And I'm probably gonna smell it. No, I eat McDonald's, I eat Wendy's, I eat fast food, I eat stuff that I probably shouldn't eat and that's my business and I don't care. You know what I'm saying? People like that get on my nerves. I swear it's like everybody on social media like, oh, yeah, I eat so healthy. No, you don't. Some people do, but I know some people be fun because y'all do not be eating like that. So yeah, I'm gonna get my fast food and I'm going to eat it and enjoy it. And that's my business. Cause who's gonna say something and who's gonna stop me? Nobody, exactly. And if they do say something, what can they do about it? Nothing. 
Exactly. Ooh, I really wanted a milkshake, but I forgot McDonald's has those new Fanta slushies. All right, y'all, food secured. I got a cheeseburger, nuggets, fries, and I got the frozen Fanta. I had to get cherry, cause she said they defrosting the blue raspberry machine or something. I don't know what she's talking about, but anyway, I'ma just talk to y'all when I get home. All right, so here's my dress. I was going through these swimsuits to wear the pool. I don't know which one I wanna wear though. Here's my wig, flexi rotted that I told y'all about. I flexi rotted it last night, so she's ready to go. She's drying. Well, it's been drying since last night, but hopefully it's dry. My mom just braided my hair down. I decided not to do like the whole trying to zhuzh up this black dress. I'm just gonna wear this one, which is already zhuzh. I forgot about. So I'm gonna wear this, that's what it looks like, yeah. And then I got this outfit to wear, I don't know if we're doing something before dinner, like in between the pool and dinner. So I got this outfit, but this is from White Fox. It's like a corset top and let me tell you, it is squeezing the girl together. But yeah, top and skirt from White Fox Boutique, but it is 11.22, so we got 38 minutes. I have to do my nails. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do my nails and that'll be it. Okay, so I really don't know what to do. This is my little nail cart, by the way, all my nail stuff over here. But I have a poly gel kit that I've never used and I'm thinking maybe I should try that. Is this it or is this gel polish? Yeah, this is my poly gel. I kind of want to do that. Maybe I should do that instead of doing press-ons. I think I will. So yeah, let's see. So about the pool thing, the guy texted me. See, I was supposed to wake up at nine, but I ain't gonna bed until 7 a.m. And I knew I was gonna be tired all day in Atlanta. Yeah, we had to leave here by 10 in order to make it there by our 12 o'clock time at the pool. Anyway, I woke up at 9.30 cause I got everything ready already. I just had to put it in the car and just take a shower. But he texted me at 9 a.m. saying, due to the weather, the pool is closed today, but he will let me know by 11. I was like, well, I don't live there. So I'm gonna have to leave here by 10 to make it there. So can we just move it to another day? Which works out because you can bring a maximum of four people and it really was just gonna be me and her, like me and my sister, because like everybody that we had invited had to work. So that works out because he said, he said we can move it to another day. So that works out. So don't have to do that. Don't have to rush to get ready. Don't have to be tired all day. I can get some more sleep and we can move it to another day where more people can come. Yeah, so all we're gonna do is eat today. Yay, nothing to stress about. Just going to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna wake up later so we can go eat. Ooh. My nails turned out cute though. It was different working with poly gel. I did what I could do though. They're not like the best looking, but I think they look pretty good for my first time. So yeah.
wanted to do the um, buffalo chicken flatbread. And can I also get the lobster mac and cheese? I'm back home from dinner. That place was really cute. Food was good. I didn't really care for the crab cakes, but everything else was good. Cute little restaurant, nice little vibe. Took me some pictures. Also took some pictures in my room just now with my eight dozen roses over there. So I just took some pictures with those. Now I'm gonna open my present for my sister. And then I'll probably eat some more of my leftovers and eat some cake or pie that I had in the refrigerator and watch Netflix and go to bed. I might work on my TikTok cause I did a TikTok. But yeah, let's see what my sister got me my mom got me a coach purse that i wanted and my dad just gave me some money so thanks mom and dad okay here's the most obvious one i got some roses i don't think they'll fit in my vase with my other roses so i'll put them in a separate one so cute read the card birthdays are a reminder that life is a gift what better day than today to remind you how special you are and what an important place you hold in my life love alexis and then Ooh, she got me the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume because I was talking about that. So I've never actually smelled this before, but I've been seeing everybody with it and everybody talking about how good it smells. So it better live up to the hype or I'm coming for all y'all that told me that this is the one. And I love her packaging. It's so cute. The little cloud. How cute. Let's smell it. Ooh. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mm-hmm. Yep, new fragrance. This is my stuff. This is, I have no idea what this is. Super moisture conditioner. I've never heard of this, but I'm gonna use it. Thanks. I'm guessing this is the shampoo. Yeah. Shampoo and conditioner. And one more. A deep conditioning mask. Because I am gonna start wearing my curly hair more, so maybe that's why she got this. I don't know, but either I don't remember her telling me about this or I've never heard of this and she just got this. Because she know about it and she know about natural hair stuff, so. Yay! Thank you! I'm gonna put this stuff up and then I'm getting out this dress, getting out this wig, getting out this makeup and my jewelry. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my jewelry now. Does anybody else feel like so heavy? Like when they get dressed up and stuff? It's just like when I be wearing makeup, like jewelry and all that, I just feel so heavy. And I just want to take it off. I feel restricted. All right, I'm in my comfy clothes. Now I'm gonna take y'all to get I'm ready with me. Take my makeup off. So let's go. As y'all can see, this wig ain't even all the way on my head. Look at that. So this is what I've been using to take off my makeup, especially since I've been on the makeup wipes. Lee Fenty Perfect Facial Cleansing Oil. But yeah, it's a oil, so you just apply the oil and then you use this. You can wet this and then wipe it all off and rinse this out and reuse it. Like it still be pink. Mine's a little, a few stains on it because I've used it several times. But the first few times I used it, I would rinse it out and like it'd be straight back pink and clean like it was when I got it, so. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about this product while I take off my makeup and show y'all the unboxing. So what this product does is effortlessly removes makeup and impurities without stripping the skin of its natural moisture, leaving it feeling super soft. Its formula includes camellia oil to nourish the skin, gently melt away oils, remove waterproof makeup, and sunscreen. So how it works is when it comes in contact with water, it becomes a milky emulsion. And once you rinse, it ensures the skin is fresh and clean to the touch. This cleanser can be used on all skin types, including dry skin, oily skin, sensitive skin, acne prone skin, and combination skin. This product is also non-GMO, organic, 
eco-friendly and cruelty free and of course the link will be in the description box below if you want to purchase it for yourself but yeah y'all i really like this product these two together the cleansing oil and the little sponge that they give you keeps you from having to buy makeup wipes keep using them up all you need is this and you can reuse it rinse it out wash it out you put it in the washing machine because i have washed it when it got like super dirty like kind of like this it's kind of like that makeup eraser towel thing i have that too it's got to be made out of the same stuff as this because it's like the same thing all you have to do is wet it and wipe your face and rinse it out and all the makeup washes out of it you can reuse use it boom link in the description if y'all want to copy it for yourself and thank you to lee fenty for sponsoring this portion of the video they actually sent me this product months ago but i've been using it and like you know just trying to give it some time just to see how it works not gonna take this wig off because it's time to be free i'm gonna just use this all right you guys i am finna eat some more of my lobster mac and cheese I got a little piece of cake because I didn't want to eat it all because it ain't that much of it. So eat it in moderation, you know. See, I'm going to do that. Eat. Watch some iCarly. Because, yeah, I watch that still. And I'm going to call it a night. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey, vlog. I just got up. I got up like an hour ago. But that was like 2 something. I went to bed at like 5.30. But I'm up having cake because I can do that. This is my birthday so i'm gonna go get my breakfast at cracker barrel even though you know it's well past breakfast time but they have breakfast all day so yeah that's probably all i'm gonna do today i might edit i have a few videos to edit so we'll see also i am making my instagram post right now for my birthday yeah yeah go on instagram Alyssa.Jalee. so like my pictures i can't decide whether to post those pictures or the ones i took at the restaurant because i really like the ones at the restaurant but we're also celebrating this weekend um because my cousins couldn't come on our actual birthday because they were working so we're gonna celebrate on saturday so like you know celebrating ain't over so maybe i'll do like a little birthday dump and then include the pictures from the restaurant and that because i really like those and i kind of want to post them this dude photo bomb my picture coming out the bathroom it was funny but yeah i like my pictures from the restaurant look at them here's one here's another you know, kind of wanted to include them in the post with my flowers, but I don't have enough room to include them because it's like nine of these. But anyway, y'all go follow me on the gram, like my pictures. Okay, let me go get my cheesecake pancakes for real. Here's my outfit for today. I got this top. The shorts are from Pretty Little Thing. And then my Easter candy dunks. All right, y'all, I started to put a wig on and then put this hat on, but I really don't feel like putting one on. So I'm going like this. Don't mind my list, by the way. I got a retainer. Don't talk about me. I got my retainers in. So I'm talking a little funny. Yeah, let me order this food because you can order online. Dang, so I didn't even have to get out. They do curbside. I place my order. Okay, it's 6.15. My order will be ready at 7. It'll be 7 o'clock when I get there anyway. Let's go. I'm glad I don't have to get out because I sure didn't want to. Let's go, girls. <laughs> Just to go out by the pool I 
guarantee you ain't gonna leave looking done up. Hey, yo, be a, huh? I just bent the block. All these just wanna be a. Am I a Nikki fan? So I look like getting back to what has been. Has been. Hang it up, flat screen. This ain't cutting it. Nicki Minaj is who you ain't with. Every last one, I know not to kill off, and I still you slut. I swear to God, I piss a happy meal off. Get the wheels turn and spin the wheel off. Snap the axle and have tough titty. Life's hard. You spit in my face and call me. This twice on the look, two peas in a tripod. If I'm garbage, you a bunch of maggots. Is this the things that I get for putting you on? Nikki, she just mad cause you took the spot. You wanna sleep on me overnight? And when I pull up, boom, motorbikes, I'm gonna play. Now, do you see why? No homo, but I'ma stick it to him like refrigerator magazine. Same passion I have. Yeah, right, still hungry, my Ain't hot enough to set fire to dry grass. Hopping out like Jack in the box. If this 30's all that I got, nigga, picking like you got it in your pocket. Yeah, this pull it out and acting like it's jam. You a boy on my mama. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Excuse me, honey. in my So cranky. Give them a hanky. All right, y'all. I'm here, so I'm just waiting for them to bring the stuff out. I don't even know why you girls bother at this point. Give it up. It's me. Thank you. No Food secure. Let me check the bag before I get up out of here. Get all the way back to the country. And don't. Woo! It looks so good. It looks so good. I'm gonna show y'all when I get home. Ooh, them eggs is cheesy and they don't look watery. Oh no, sir. Let me, let me come out first. You coming down through here with this U-Haul? I need acknowledgement. If I got it, then tell me I got it. Then I rock Kentucky blue on these. I don't want to share no room with these. Metro gonna make it boom on these. Mink coat and all of my. Since we call them barbays, baby, no way. And lately, I've been on that deuce. Yeah, yeah, I got a check. What we doing? What they doing? And bitch, I'm the boss, and I be stunning like my daddy. Stunning like my daddy. Money in the way. Ain't my birthday, but I got my name on the cake. Pick them up, throwing shots back at them like a crack at it. Don't be cooking this. She thought I was back at it. Show me my opponent. Show me my pony. I've been, and I don't wanna tell you to drop it. My, my, my heart. I'm talking crazy. Yeah. I need my friend. Oh, oh, oh. I've been loyal, no questions, boy. I've been tensos down. I wish you could see how you hurt me. that I passed on the way to get my food. He didn't even call me. Chuck. It's raining. I'm recording on my phone. My camera's gonna die. I'm gonna leave my phone. I'm gonna leave my other stuff in the car. All right, I'm back home. Here's my food. I'm gonna eat this. Oh, and I got my juice in my birthday girl cup that I got at Walmart, cause it's my birthday. You guys, I fell asleep. I fell asleep after I ate my food. And I woke up around midnight-ish. 
I woke up around 10 something because my dad came over here and then I went back to sleep I woke up around midnight ish and then I've been on the phone with my sister for the past like two and a half hours and yeah it's like 2 30 in the morning now but I'm eating again my leftovers from the restaurant last night my lobster mac and cheese and buffalo chicken flatbread and my strawberry cream pie. But I think the rest of the night I'm gonna eat and I'm probably gonna edit because I have two videos to get done for two companies. So I can get those videos out and then I need to edit videos that I just film myself like it's not for a company or anything, just for fun. I have a few videos like that to edit. So I'll work on some of that tonight and probably tomorrow. editing all night i finished one video and i'm maybe a little more than halfway done with the second video i already sent the first video to the first company then i just have to send this one to this company and then i'll be done with the videos that i just have to finish so i could send it for the company to review before i post it so yeah i have not been to sleep since um my nap earlier i woke up around midnight and it is 11 18 now in the morning so i'm starting to fall asleep so i'm gonna go to sleep now and then I'll finish this when I wake up because I'm falling asleep editing it right now so I'm just gonna go to sleep so yeah I, when I, wake up. I just woke up guys I'm hungry so I think I'm gonna eat first and then I'm gonna finish this video the video I was telling y'all I was working on before I fell asleep I'll finish that send that in and we'll see what we'll do with the rest of our night or I might find a new game to play on my switch but I don't have the tv in here I don't want to play it on the tv I mean I could play it handheld but I don't know but yeah Ooh, my gift came from my mom. Ooh, so cute. She's so pretty. Also, love these wraps from Chick fil A and this dressing. Top tier. You're welcome. All right, you guys, I finished both videos. So the second one is uploading right now. I haven't really done anything today, so probably not gonna be much footage for Wednesday because it's just strictly, basically work day. I got two videos done. Ooh. So yeah, I'm gonna eat again because I'm hungry. Take a little break and I might start editing some other videos because I have a few other videos that I wanna do. It's me again, coming to you from the same spot. Y'all, this is why I said I didn't know about weekly vlogs because this is literally what I do. Like all I've been doing is editing. I've been up all night editing. It's 11.47 a.m. I have been up since. Well, I fell asleep after I ate my food after the last video I finished editing that I told y'all about. I ate, fell asleep, woke up at 2 a.m. and I've been editing since then. Like that's all I be doing. Filming, editing, filming, editing. I rarely go out. That's all I do. That's literally all I do. So welcome to my life. This is my life. Film, edit, film, edit, work on content, take pictures, edit, take pictures, edit, eat, sleep. That's it but i do actually have to do an order today off my website i'm doing some rebranding on my website so those of you who keep asking about the lip glosses and stuff they will be back but i'm getting new packaging for those like i want to do new packaging and i kind of want to change i really want to change like everything but i definitely want to change my packaging for my lip gloss so that's why those haven't been in stock for a while but they will be back i had actually just put the site on maintenance mode and i was going to leave it on maintenance mode until i got my new packaging and everything but i was just like i'm gonna just leave it up for the stuff that is still available to purchase. So I just turned it back on like a week ago. So y'all should be able to order stuff now, but I've had it on maintenance mode for a while now. But yeah, I put the site back up so that, you know, y'all can still buy the stuff that's still available like masks, purses. I think I have like one lip gloss left, like the clear glitter gloss and lashes and stuff. So y'all can still buy that stuff, but just not my lip candies or my clear gloss. So yeah, but anyway, since I turned my website back on, I actually have an order to do today. It's just, I think lashes, a couple pair of lashes and a mask, rhinestone face mask. So yeah, I gotta do that. But my mom actually has my car right now and I completely forgot that I had an order. Not like it matters because I really can walk to the post office. It's literally right there. I like it'll take me two minutes to get there. But yeah, I have to pack that order, print the label, and drop it off at the post office. So that's really the only thing that's probably gonna be different today. But I'll still be editing more videos today. And then I'm gonna do my order, eat, sleep. You know, this is the life of a content creator. That's literally how it goes. Like you, it's content 24 seven. Or at least if you're not working on content or making content, you're thinking of new content or thinking of 
how you can make content out of whatever you're doing right now it's just never ending so yeah i haven't been asleep i'm probably gonna go sleep in a minute i don't know I'm really not tired though, so I don't know. But I'm trying to get this video saved. I did a cheap Amazon wig video. Um, I finished editing that. I want to get, I'm trying to get it downloaded, but my computer's acting stupid. But yeah, I'm trying to get that downloaded so I can upload it. I actually have a video going up today at four. I think I have to post Instagram pictures for that brand too. So yeah, and I also have to film a clothing haul this week at some point. But we are going out this weekend because we're still celebrating. Yeah, but until then, we're working, 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 working. Let's see, my computer is done acting a fool. And then it's like, it stays saying I'm out of space, but I done deleted so much stuff. Like, there's literally nothing left. How do I not have space? I've been sitting here making a thumbnail, my cheap Amazon wig video, while my computer was gathering itself. But yeah, here's the thumbnail for it. I don't know why when I said it the first time, it did my emoji in the top left like that. Like, what? I don't know what happened. But anyway, that's the thumbnail for it. And then I have to post pictures in this hair. This video is going up today. And this is the thumbnail for that video so that video is going up today at four i have to post the pictures for them too my first weekly vlog is almost over and i did absolutely nothing for like three days in a row but that's okay you know that's okay but i can just post this whenever and i think i'm gonna post it tomorrow oh yay it's saved okay so and then i have to film a haul that has to go up within the next week so yeah guys that's what's happening today see like i literally have deleted everything there's literally nothing left in my iMovie library and it keeps saying i don't have space in iMovie how do i not have space i deleted everything that was here i had so many videos saved i don't understand it i guess i have to start back editing on my desktop over there the only thing about that is i can't sit in my bed and edit but yeah let me um upload this video to youtube real quick see like i literally have no like none of my old videos i've edited none of those are here but they want to keep talking about i don't have no space every time i add something new i don't even know what part this is testing cheap amazon wigs part I'm just gonna put some numbers some monetization on let me work on the description box while this downloading. But I haven't really been doing anything but editing and stuff, so I haven't been vlogging much because that's boring. Y'all don't want to see that. I just got the shower. I'm finna eat. I need to transfer my files from this weekly vlog so I can start editing it. Um, we're going out tomorrow, so um, I really want to get enough done before I go out. So we're not going out to eight anyway tomorrow night. So oh, and I'm wearing my velvet do rag that I made. So on my website, they're not on my website right now, but I had these on my website. This is one of the first ones I made. Actually, the first one that I made was blue. It's right here. Actually, this was the first do rag that i made i think or was the purple one the first one that i made anyway these were the first ones that i made when i was practicing so yeah and they're satin lined because you know don't be rubbing your hair out so yeah satin lined you can get it without satin though when i had it on my website you can say if you want satin in it or not but yeah satin line protect the hair hushibeauty.com but i need to get my machine fixed because i haven't even been able to sew or anything like that because my thing's broken but i want kai thai today i want thai food i really want to go get some but i kind of don't feel like it oh awesome my sister came home today let's go see her just got here like an hour or so ago there she is you wait you wait wait let me just go wait why are y'all subscribed to listen channel <laughs> Beats me. Y'all better not unsubscribe. I think my flowers are dying. Let me pack up this order actually. So let me get a mailer. My label thing. Scale. 4.1 ounces, so when you mail off stuff, you have to round up no matter what so since it's 4.1 ounces i'm gonna have to round up to five that's what i put in for the label okay just gotta drop this in the mail okay i just placed my order for kai thai i'm gonna go pick it up bye where are you going get my food hello dear easy food say hello say hi say hello hey She's finna go. No, you can't go with her. Say bye bye.
I got my food. Now I gotta order my dad's food from Applebee's. So I'm on the phone with them. Well, my dad's food won't be ready for another 15-ish minutes. So I am going to actually go to Walmart and get me some pie because I'm out of strawberry cream pie. I get the Edwards pies in the frozen section and I just cannot live without it. When I be eating my dessert after I eat, I need my pie and I ran out of pie. Um, I ate the last slice of my birthday. I hope they have some because sometimes they be sold out. But I got fried rice and sugar daddy rolls. I love the fried rice. I love the lemon that they put on the side and you squeeze the lemon juice on the rice. Ugh, so good. They're out of the strawberry pie. It was right there. I knew it. Of course they would be. Do they have individuals? Ugh. Well, I got me some avocados. Let's get me some avocados and some strawberries. I'm leaving. Okay, it is time for me to pick up my dad's food. I got me a frozen cherry Fanta from McDonald's. So I have something to drink. I'm so mad they didn't have the pie. I just knew they were gonna do me like that. Now everybody eats strawberry cream pie. Since when? But I got some avocados. I love avocados. Got to have them. I haven't had them over a week. I've been losing my mind. I got some strawberries. So I wanted to make some breakfast stuff. And I also got me some croissants to make my turkey breast and Swiss croissants that I like to make. Or I make sausage, egg, and cheese croissants also with avocado. Gotta love it. But right now I'm waiting at Applebee's. They slow it. They get on my nerves. Cause what is the point of car side to go and picking a time for you not to be out here when I get here? For you to not have it ready at that pickup time. Like what are y'all doing? I don't understand that. They killed me. They was doing all right with me for a while. Like I used to come here and they be having it ready. And then it was like this one time I came, it took them like 30 minutes to bring my shit out. And they've been like that ever since. Every time I come here, like what do y'all be doing? I don't understand that. This is why you don't tell people when you go um, to get food. Cause then folks start making requests and plus and orders and stuff. Come on, sir. Oh my God. Now how do you folks get their food? They showed up after me. How has all these people that showed up after me got their food? That's the shit that pisses me off about Applebee's. This is why I cannot with them. With the car side to go thing, they piss me off every time. What the hell is they doing? They ain't got in this spot yet. They done backed up three, four times trying to get in this spot. My food was ready 11 minutes ago. What are y'all doing? And then these people that done showed up after me done got their food. And these folks gave them the money and they pulled off. He just not coming out here with the change. Eight minutes later, it took you that long to get some change, bro. And he been standing, I can see him. He been standing at this little register thing, getting the change for the whole time. You been standing right here. It ain't like you been walking around the restaurant doing anything else. What is you doing? Now let this girl that just pulled up next to me. She literally just pulled up like two minutes ago. Let her get food before I get mine. I'm finna flip this. Have a good night. You too. I'm going home. My dad said to drop his food off at my granny's which is like two minutes from my house but i'm going home he ain't even there anyway so he don't get off till 12 o'clock it's nine something i'm gonna go home and eat i'll take it over there after i'm done eating I'm back home y'all of course the one time that I'm looking forward to having the lemon slice in my rice because they always just be decorated with little stuff they didn't put the lemon slice in there they put the cucumber in there the tomato the cilantro which they always put that in there and they also put a little lemon slice and the lemon slice isn't in there and that's what I wanted so of course of course it's not in there but these are my sugar daddy rolls I got some lemon juice out of the refrigerator so I'm gonna just put some in there because I really wanted the lemon juice on it it's like a nice little touch to it so yeah I'm gonna eat mm -hmm. yeah y'all so I just got back I took my dad's food over to my granny's house. But let me show y'all the shoes that I got last night. I be on Depop. If you're not on Depop, you're asleep. At least if you like Y2K, vintage, like cute, cool little finds, you'd be on Depop. But anyway, I was on Depop last night. I saved a good bit of stuff. These are the shoes that I got. How cute. They're vintage shoes. At least that's what it says. Um, I don't know how true that is, but that's what it says on the caption. But they're so cute. And I'm trying to put together an outfit with them. I had this hat saved, but I've had opening my tabs. Does anybody else do that? They just leave a bunch of tabs open and stuff that they find that they want to eventually buy. And they just leave the tabs open until they're ready to buy it. Yeah, I've had this in one of my tabs. So I could wear that, even though it's not the same shade of green, but like, I could do like other shades of green in the outfit or whatever so it like ties together plus like you know the fur here fur on the hat you know you get it you see what i'm doing i actually cut out my outfits like, i cut out the pictures 
and I put it together on Canva so I can see what it looks like. So I started putting it together. See, I cut out all my outfits in here. I haven't worn this one. I already wore this one. This is on my Instagram. I've worn this one. I haven't worn either of these. I don't even have the stuff for this. I wore that to the fair. I want to do a khaki and red outfit. That's why I have the words right there. But I want to do like a khaki and red vibe. I kind of already have a picture like that on my Instagram with the teddy type outfit. And then it's got like red accents. But I want to do like an outfit like that. Anyway, I, I wore this outfit, but I just never got good pictures in it. And it's making me so mad. Anyway, I made this for my ex but i wore this on instagram already y'all saw that if the instagram girls are here then you know i wore this already i was putting this together because i got this on amazon so i was trying to figure out how to style it um you know how people used to stack belts or whatever so i was gonna try and do that but i i have a black belt like this but not a white one i feel like a white one would go better i could do black and then do black accents in the outfit like black boots a black purse or whatever i don't know we'll see that's what i was working on last night and then Here's this outfit. But anyway, I gotta find a way to put this together. So I'm debating, and y'all can let me know what I should do, but I have some ideas. So I was wondering if I should do like a cute little graphic top and skirt with these boots. This one, which actually has like another shade of green that's kind of close to these two. Or I could do it a little bit dressier since it is heels. And I could do, I was feeling this cause it's got green right here, but I don't know about this one anymore. I could do this corset because it's got like little green areas in here and then find a skirt to wear. Or I could do this corset, which is like, you know, kind of in this shade range or like this satin skirt or this green corset. I really don't know. I don't know how to wear it, you guys. Or I could do like an ivory outfit. I don't know. I don't know how to wear it. So yeah. Anyway, those are the cute vintage boots I got last night. I'm going to be searching for some more stuff because I just think vintage stuff is so cute and unique and yeah. So I'm gonna get on Depop and look for some more stuff. Another all nighter for me. It is now Saturday, July 16th, and we're going to this rooftop place. It's at a hotel, but it's a restaurant on the roof. That's what we're doing today, but I've been up all night transferring files from this whole weekly vlog, like transferring all the files up until this point. So maybe I can be editing those. I don't know because I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep, so I don't know what time I'm gonna wake up to do that or when I do wake up if I have enough time to edit um, before I start getting ready. But I have been transferring those files. Took forever, literally. They just finished. And while they were transferring, I was working on the press on video. I just have to do the voiceover and that's it. But everything else is done. Yeah, I did get a video done while the files were transferring because I was supposed to be working on the weekly vlog last night. And you know, all the footage up until this point. Yeah, the files were taking forever. So luckily, I already had these files on here. So I went ahead and edited the press on video. So I had something to do while they were transferring. So I got something done and that should be it for this week i'm really nervous to post this because like i said i feel like i always felt like my weekly vlogs would be boring because i i don't do nothing like i really don't i really don't think people understand when i say that i really don't like i'm not one of people that be like oh my god i never have anywhere to go i have no friends i have nothing to do no like i actually don't it's like the same routine film edit content take pictures and i go out every blue moon yeah like i i really mean it when i say that i be in this room majority of the time i film in here i edit in here i eat in here you know everything's in here first weekly vlog almost done kind of nervous to post it because i don't know how y'all gonna react to it i don't know but I'm posted anyway. Glad that's done. All these files are done transferring. So all I have to do is edit them. Yeah, I have the press on video scheduled for Tuesday in my planner. And then I have a haul on Friday. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. That has been my night. Yeah, okay. I'm going to bed now. I need to start getting ready at like 5.30ish. So I need to get up in seven hours so that's enough sleep i don't know if i'll sleep the whole seven most likely i will but yeah okay i'm going to sleep bye i just woke up guys it's 5 55. what's with that why is it doing that with my camera on it but i'm gonna get ready i have another order to do somebody ordered the last lip gloss on the website so now lip glosses are off the website until i restock all of them so i gotta Package that up and mail that off. Yeah, let's get ready. I don't think I'm gonna film me getting ready because I filmed me getting ready already in this vlog for my birthday. And it's the same process. Only thing that's gonna be different today is my hair though. So I'll just come back when I am ready. So we'll do a little transition. Ready. 20 minutes late though, so I gotta go. But I'm wearing this synthetic number from my video that just dropped today. 
go watch. Gotta be. Gotta go. No, we're looking for the restaurant. Yeah. Straight to the elevator, go to the sixth floor. Okay, thank you. show y'all the food options on the screen i would have eaten some of this stuff but i know it's not everybody's cup of tea and yeah so i'd rather just go somewhere else where everybody would be able to eat stuff so we're gonna try another place called vibes so yeah all right y'all we're here it was literally like two minutes away but we literally got lucky with the parking because it was it's always packed down here but somebody was literally leaving when we pulled up and we're right here so birthday luck <laughs> put my heels on i only have to bring these sandals in here because we parked right here that worked out hopefully the weight's not bad Did we just park Okay, we're gonna go in here for our name. Okay, y'all. Let's get with it, because I'm starving. because like half the people we invited literally backed out an hour before it was time to go so i really didn't want to go anymore but i'm glad i did because i had fun so yeah it was a good time good vibes they was cool to hang out with so yeah i'm gonna get out these clothes and then i'm gonna come close out the video my first weekly vlog is almost over but you're right back all right y'all i am ready for bed i am wore out i'm tired um, I really wanted to work on the weekly vlog and edit that. I don't know if I'll get much done because I'm really ready to go to sleep. But yeah, I had a fun little week. Fun and productive week. Got a lot of editing done. Got a lot of videos done. And had some fun. So yeah, my first weekly vlog. Let me know what y'all think of these videos. Let me know if y'all want me to keep doing them. That is it for this weekly vlog, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when i post because you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so make sure your post are on and i will see y'all in my next video bye